Let's take a few moments and take a look at the historical reports overview of our system or all those types of reports that are available on the historical data. Uh, these reports are accessed through an H off of the traffic display and then you'll see a whole other menu which has several more drop down menus inside of there which include uh, A dealer type or dealer group reports uh, disposition of events reports to find out uh, all those particular events that were uh, received the same disposition or certain dispositions. Uh, reports that identify event types like if I wanted to know all of the burglaries, all of the low batteries, all of the low powers that uh, came through the system. Uh, we can get a list of all of the history files that are within the system. We can get a report of all accounts that are inactive. Uh, this can be a very valuable thing. A lot of times we don't have accounts that are set up for auto test, but we do want to know if we haven't received a signal in the last year. Uh, these are accounts that we're going to want to go back and to visit. Uh, these uh, are very easily done. Uh, and so we also have account dealer stats menu. This is a very helpful drop down menu of such things as traffic events uh, summaries and totals so we can find out the number of events that different groups are sending in. We can also find those events that are creating too many false alarms and prioritize them either with our central station across the board or uh, with our individual dealers. It's possible to send him a top 50 report of his false alarms in descending order of all his accounts that are creating exception events into the central station. Uh, there's no way I can show you some of these kinds of things without showing live data and of course we're not in a position to start creating videos on people's accounts as well as uh, privacy concerns there also. We do cover the numerical account statistics on a separate video uh, that uh, will show you a lot regarding the statistics. There are operator reports menus, which means I can go and get a log or get a history of the events this particular operator has been working with. Uh, there are all the subscriber type reports which include details and intermediates and summaries opening closings and uh, there are subsequent videos that deal with some of those type events as well as exceptions on the subscriber level and so forth like that. There is the time frame report which simply means I can get a listing of all events uh, within today's range uh, that are in chronological order of the way that they took place. Uh, the time frame report is very similar in nature to the logging printer that so many people are used to. There are also reports of unrestored accounts or those accounts that have sent alarms in that we are monitoring currently all of their activity to see if that restoral comes in within a pre-described period of time and there are report emulations for those that are transitions from other systems that want reports sent to their customers in that same fashion they've been receiving them all along. I would like to draw a little bit of attention and I'm going to pick one report to do this with uh, and that simply will pick the inactive accounts report to do this with. I can get a detail or a summary uh, of that particular account and in order to do that let's just say that we're going to get a summary here but what I would like to draw your attention to is the sort by capabilities uh, down below there. I can go from here I can obviously put in account numbers I can put in dates and times uh, but there are certain times that I may want to be keying on data within the account in order to uh, satisfy my requirement only certain accounts like those accounts that have activity beginning this year uh, and those accounts that don't have a signal uh, since January of last year or things like that. So if I come down to the report parameters you're going to get a good feel for some of those uh, sifting and sorting capabilities. Now you may want to go back and review the coverage under the account listing report because I did explain in some great detail there some of the special characters that are involved. Okay, that concludes our historical reports overview.